Hi everyone, I'm going to give you an introduction to Sound Generator. It's an editor extension for the Unity game engine. And what Sound Generator does is it allows you to um, create sound effects or even music um, using uh, synthesis. So you're not using actual WAV files or MP3s or OGs or any physical audio files. You're creating your own sound effects on the fly in the editor and they'll be generated on scene load in your game. Um, this means of course that your resulting games will be a lot smaller and you won't have to worry about licensing fees for sounds or sound formats. Um, this extension comes with a few examples. Um, maybe I should show an example first, one of the ones that come with Sound Generator under examples scenes, um, yes, compositions. This is just a collection of a couple of compositions. Compositions in the sound generator uh, world mean one sound. Um, there's a list of compositions here now in the left. You can see them. Um, and we'll take a more detailed look at them in a moment. Let's just, let's just play this scene and see what happens. You can see it's now on level startup, it generates all the sounds for you. Um, and here are just a few examples to chip with this, like a drum, a drum with an echo, a piano sound, a chord, someone stepping on wood, a wooden surface, and someone walking over gravel. <laughs> so these are just a couple of randomish examples. If we want to actually look at them and how they look, we can go into Tools, Sound Generator, and now we have the composition window for Sound Generator. This is where you will spend all your time if you're working with Sound Generator. I'm just going to put it in there with the inspector. If I click on one of those, you can now see what it looks like. This is my drum, play it here. And uh, that's it, that's all that's required. Um, I'll create a new one from scratch in a bit, but you can change any of these settings right here. For example, it's quite a deep sound at the moment. If I change the octave to say six and press play again, it's much more high pitched. And uh, these can get fairly complicated. Um, we can clean it up a little bit here. And zoom that in. Um, effects with echoes and any form of feedback tend to take a little bit longer to generate. That's just um, the nature of that kind of sound. This won't happen in-game, of course. It'll be instant once you're in the game itself. It's just on scene load, where <coughs> excuse me, longer taking sounds, uh, long, uh, sounds that take longer to generate. So here is one that plays a piano chord, which I've built up. And uh, see, this is significantly more complicated. There's our little piano chord. So that's one of the scenes that comes with it. If you, um, there are quite a few which show you how to put a little game together. For example, there's a simple platformer. So if I press play on this one, I use the keyboard controls. I can actually. All of these sounds, if you go look in the scene itself, there's my coin. Here's a little coin sound. All of these, of course, can be exported. So you can export this as a WAV file and just use it as a WAV if you want without using Sound Generator in your game. Um, or use Sound Generator and massively reduce 
the size and um, of the resulting builds for any platform. It's my player. Here's my little player when he bumps into anything. It's the drum sound. You may recognize it from the previous example. And then there's one more example here called Sci-Fi. And this is just a collection of several sounds. And they're using them within the game. Uh, yeah, there's a little siren sound. And there. And a, door. And a little laser. So, that sound generator in a nutshell. Um, let me just create a new scene quickly. New scene. And I'm going to create the... Um, the drum effect from scratch. I'll lose the main camera. I'll just add a sound to that. We're just using this for testing anyway, or for a demo. Doesn't really matter what I attach anything to. Um, so here I have a brand new composition. It's empty. I'll create an output quickly. Press play. Nothing will happen because there's no sound. Add a little sign. We'll connect those two. Let's play. You can zoom out, zoom in, and there are a couple of ways to a uh, little convenience icons here on the left to get in and out and to get the best view. Quality settings as well. Very low quality. Very high quality. So we want to change this and make it sound a bit like a drum like we've seen in a couple of the examples and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a um, filter to this an amplitude multiplier which basically changes the volume and we'll link those clean this up a little bit and what we'd want to do is attach an envelope uh, an envelope describes over time the shape of well a shape which in this case alters the amplitude which is the volume so if I just play now it'll make a strange sort of sound what we want to do is we want a drum sound so drum starts with zero volume and gets out very very quickly and then over time becomes quiet. If I now press play, I get a sound which is not a drum but a working sound. A drum is a much lower um, pitch. So we change that octave down to one and make it the lowest we can. Now we have a drum which we can use anywhere else. These sounds of course can also be made as prefabs. Um, you can right click and create a sound generator composition right in your assets folder. Let's do that in the root where I'm not making a mess. And right here I can create anything I like. Um, for example a... Oh, let's just let's just throw something together very quickly here square waveform <coughs> horrible sound but <laughs> there we go now this is reusable in any of my scenes simply by using prefabs as you usually would and that's it Um, one more thing. Ah, yes. Um, Sun Generator has a completely open architecture. So it also includes some examples on how to create your own modules. So here, for example, there's a Sun Generator example sign and a Sun Generator example cosine. One is in Unity Script and one is in um, C Sharp. Uh, these are are available in the menu as you can see here there's the sine and there's the cosine 
Um, so you can create your own modules and expand this and extend this as much.